Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode we're gonna go ahead and enter the Temple of the Ocean King for the final time. We have 25 minutes on our hourglass and that's well over the amount that we need to have through the whole temple. Uh, each floor. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be taking on each floor. I'm not gonna use that uh, orange portal to take me like halfway through the temple because I don't need that. Now that we have the Phantom Sword, we can actually defeat Phantoms with it, and you're gonna see it in just a second. This is gonna make every single room a lot easier, and you also get nice goodies from defeating the Phantoms. So let's go ahead and get ready to stab a Phantom. So there we go. We have him stunned, and huzzah! Yeah, he is dead for good. That's basically how you kill phantoms. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, the treasures you get from them aren't really that good. They're simple, like, prizes, like, that you can earn from, like, a mini game or something. So, I don't know. I don't really suggest, like, focusing on collecting all the treasures because, yeah, it's not really worth it. But, it's whatever. I'm actually going to leave that chest. I don't really see a point in getting it. It's most likely going to be some type of, uh, you know random treasure you can pick up. I mean, I guess I could open it. You know, I'll just do it for the heck of it, but we have to walk all the way around. We're gonna be wasting a full minute on the very first room, but I don't really mind that, honestly, uh, because like I said, we have well over the amount of time we need to take on this temple for the final time, so yeah, let's go ahead and run our way down and I guess just pick up this. As you can tell, with the items we obtained from the previous dungeons, it's going to make the temple even easier than it already was. And actually, a Goron Ember wasn't that bad. I was, like, expecting a Zora scale or something crappy. Obviously, it's random every single time. So, you know, I might get lucky and get something that I really wanted. Uh, and I actually wanted that one. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and wait for this guy to turn to the left while we stab him like that. And then, I'm gonna hit this switch, run over and pull this lever. I don't know why, actually I need to pull this lever for the fire to uh, disappear. And let's hit this switch really quickly and then the key will appear so we can advance. Um, and yeah, some of the rooms you can actually skip entirely with uh, the help of your items. These ones are just generally easier. Uh, with with certain items this one in particular there's really nothing easy about it because it was already easy as crap so there's nothing like new that you can do with the items you obtain I mean as long as you have the bomb you just break that uh, pick up the key and run your way to the next room so pretty smooth sailing I believe there is some extra time over here if I go ahead and pull out my bomb I'm gonna hurt myself again I didn't actually wow that was pretty cool and yeah I'm not gonna bother with the whole bomb chew, you know, hit the switch thing. I believe you get yourself a treasure chest that I already obtained before, so it's not that important. But uh, anyways, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna avoid this whole room entirely. I just don't want to get spotted by the phantom, so I'm gonna try to kill one of them. I guess I could. I mean, I don't really have to. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually gonna kill this one, so let's go ahead and stab him in the back. Goodbye, phantom. Um, and then we're gonna head up here. How you do this is you go ahead and use your grappling hook to do that. Make sure you're on this side, of course, and go ahead and fling yourself over. And yeah, that will skip this whole room. You don't have to collect any of the uh, forest gems and all of that jazz. It's just real simple. Uh, that's how cool having this item is. You skip a whole room just like that. Now let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Um, this room is also, I believe, skippable. Uh, there's really nothing important about this room to begin with. This room is really straightforward. You just run your way down after you grab the key. But actually, obtaining the key might be a little bit difficult. I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. Wait, I'm gonna make sure the phantom can see me. And then, we will hide. I will kill the phantom. Just for good measures, and now I am safe. So if those phantom eyes do spot me, I don't have to worry, my friends, because... It's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna start buzzing and all of that, trying to alert a phantom, but there's no phantom in the room to do anything about it, so I'm in the clear. I mean, it might, you know, try to slow me down or you have to rub on the screen and stuff, but 
that shouldn't be much of an issue. So I need to first grab the key. Actually, for a second I thought I could skip this whole room entirely without the key, but apparently not. But since the phantoms are destroyed, I don't have to worry about getting caught. So it should be really straightforward from here. We just hit the switch. You can also use a bomb chew, of course. But bomb, bomb chew, you know, same thing. You know, it doesn't really matter which one I use in the end. As long as I grab this key, I can just head through this room. So instead of going through this room right here, that will put me through this whole huge maze. I'm going to take this one. We already took this room before, I believe, in uh, the previous, uh, you know, run through this temple. I'm pretty sure we did, because I wouldn't have it marked on my map. Um, so, yeah. And we also get ourselves, I believe, like a treasure map from doing this whole sequence, because by hitting the switch, it would have stopped this, uh, you know... Gus Jar would have been able to grab that chest and obviously as you can tell it's grabbed so yeah we've done this before this isn't new it's just hard to remember because you do the Temple of the Ocean King so many times I can't really keep track but yeah let's quickly kick this guy just like that and then I want to grab this time I'm gonna get caught if he sees me I'm okay never mind and you're gonna run down and draw the Triforce of course not the Phantom Hourglass, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the stroke. The first stroke obviously has to be from the middle um, left and then going towards the right, uh, or rather to the left. Which is basically how I drew it. I don't really see a point in explaining it because you saw me do it. And that is the midway point. With look at how much time we have, guys. We have 23 minutes. With all of that time we, you know, spent cutting rooms, we didn't really spend much time. And then we obviously got, you know, those uh, jars that give us extra Phantom Hourglass time as well. So, uh, pretty much we only spent not even two minutes uh, in the first five rooms or so. So, so far so good. It's a good thing we didn't take that freaking portal because that portal would have put us at like five minutes or whatever we had uh, when we were last here. I don't know if it adds up the minutes you got outside of the dungeon. It might, but still, the progress we're doing now is so much more efficient and so much easier than before. Um, anyways, with the grappling hook, we can obviously skip a huge portion of this area by just picking up this like that, and that will have the fire disappear. Super straightforward. It's ridiculous how easy this is the final time. You'll be, be like, oh no, I have to take on the Temple of the Ocean King again, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's so simple. It's ridiculous. All right, I want this guy to notice me so I can just run up here throw this All right, we're in the clear now. Please continue upwards. Thank you. Let's go ahead and stab him in the back Pick this and continue going obviously every single room where you kill all of the phantoms You'll get yourself something special But like I said, it's just some pick-me-up you can get at any mini game. So it's not important. I mean granted it could I mean, it could be a ship part, which would be kind of cool, but eh, it's not really that cool. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to take this with me. Hopefully, I don't get caught. I'm going to get caught, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, we're good. We're good, though. I'm running fast enough. These swift phantoms aren't as fast as you think. You just slice them in the back and continue on. We're almost, like, at the end of this. Like, after this, there's the extra floors we took on previously, and and that's it. Like, this alone is like a 10-minute puzzle altogether, and look at how fast we're doing it. We're gonna be getting the, I believe, triangle crystal right now, and with that, we just need to head inside this room from the other side, and we are set. So, yeah, it's pretty hilarious how easy this gets. But, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and run around. Adding the fact, like, even with these items, it's still not as easy, um, without the, the, oh, then you hit the switch, I completely forgot about it, without the Phantom Sword. The Phantom Sword just makes it a breeze, because you don't even have to worry about anybody, it's just like, hey, Phantom, I don't want you lurking, you know, these routes, I'm gonna go ahead and just stab you in the back, and, and they die. So, yeah, and I also want to grab this, so thank you for the time. Let's go ahead and pick up this one as well. This is pretty much the easiest way to do it instead of walking, like, all the way through here with the items. I mean, I highly suggest going this path. I mean, you can go the other path, but I'm not because I've done this every single time I play this game. Every time I go through this area, I just do that. Oh, and he noticed them. 
It's okay though. We're gonna kill him once he turns around. Let's go and quickly grab my bow. Can I hit him? Yeah, sweet. We got him stunned. Drop that, you critter! Wait, I wanna hit him. There we go. We're gonna get ourselves a special chest. I guess I'll pick it up. I mean, if I do happen to go through the trouble of, like, defeating all the phantoms, I don't really see a point in not getting myself a nice chest. Let's see what this one is. <gasps> Ooh, it's a shell apartment. Um, looks neat for a ship part that I don't really have any other parts for. That's just dandy. <laughs> I also want to run down here for something else. Instead of uh, breaking that area and having the, um, the... I believe the triangle crystal go in it and just doing all of that nonsense you can easily use a bomb chew that will hit the switch and open up the door so yeah just making it easier by the second I actually want to like complete all of this in less than 10 minutes tops at least in game time in reality with all of this time we're getting it's a lot longer than 10 minutes but who cares adding the fact that we stand on these purple safe zones as well it stops time and all of that um, but I just want to see if I can have with over 15 minutes uh, to spare. That'd be pretty nice, honestly. I mean, granted, we did pick up all of the extra uh, hourglass time we could have picked up within the game. And that's what made us even more set. It's going to look the opposite way. Oops. Okay. I want to kill this guy so I can get some more time. It took me like 30 seconds to freaking kill him, though. So it wasn't really worth it. Actually, it was. What am I talking about? All right. I'm going to throw this. See if we can get him to notice me, Phantom. I need you to notice me. There we go. Yeah, I don't really care that you lock this up. Alright, I don't want to get hit by the Reapling that is currently chasing me. I'm going to go ahead and snipe him like that. And then pick up its time, as well as have the Phantom notice me. Hello, Phantom. Alright, look back. And you're under attack. Haha. <laughs> there we go. It's really cool how the Phantom Eyes like pop out of their back, like, Ugh, I was really just an eye all along possessing a giant uh, knight, or like the armor of a knight or something. Whoa, my brain just exploded, that is genius. What if that's really how they are, who knows? We'll figure out soon, and I'm actually putting it in the correct order. Okay. So obviously you know how this works, where you put them in a specific order and you go through a different part of the Temple of the Ocean King to advance. I think I'm doing it correctly because I'm pretty sure, you know, if you do it wrong, you're going to head inside this door and then you're going to have that skeleton telling you to, you know, put it in a certain order. And I think the order I'm putting in currently will cause the next room to take me down a couple floors. Let's see if this works. That'd be pretty cool. So you want to have it square, circle triangle yep and I'm correct look at that it wouldn't have done this rumbling if I didn't do it correctly because normally you would have talked to this guy and he would have told you to put the crystals in that order and I did uh, without really trying to I just happened to do it and there we go so yeah this is going by pretty swell um, all right so I want what I want to do here actually is not even mess around with this area I'm gonna quickly just let's see what is the easiest way to take on this whole place? I believe it's just by running down. Hmm. I honestly don't know what I want to do. So many options. So little time. Not really. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I am got an idea. All right. Yeah, come on. Chase me, chase me, chase me. All right. Look around. Turn back. There we go. And come on. Can I hit them? No. See, these phantoms teleport away if you're not there. Which is a problem, because I want to see if I can lead him to me and then just kill him. That would have been pretty cool. Also, this room is a lot more important than other rooms, because this holds a treasure map. There are two treasure maps left within the game, and you get them from the depth of the Temple of the Ocean King. So, it's really important we do this, and obviously he's not facing me. Oh, God. No! Oh, well. Really hoping he'd be looking the other way. If he was, I just could have killed him like that. Oh no, he got him freaking chasing me again. Right, let's... Is he chasing me? Hello? Come here. Alright. No! Ah, man, dude! They don't even look the other way, dude. They, like, immediately leave if you're not there. It's like they're so busy, but they're not. These phantoms, all they do is lurk these freaking hallways. I don't understand. Like, do you have somewhere to go, dude? You don't. You just want to go back on your spot of the freaking room and continue walking there. 
All right, so we got ourselves a key. Now we can just advance, but see, yeah, like I said, this room is a lot more important because you see this rusty switch? Well, if we use the magical hammer, a chest appears, and that will give us, yes, like I said, a really important item, which is the, um, that's not what I want to grab. I want to hit the switch, which is a treasure map, and there are two more left in the game, so I really want to get them. Really, and that stops that? That's weird. I wasn't expecting that, but there we go. We can quickly beast our way through here. Also, pick up this treasure map. Hey, who are you calling for, Mr. Phantom Eye? It's kind of weird, because when you think about it, Phantom Eyes are just phantoms without the suit. You know? It's pretty cool. <laughs> There's also a skeleton here. He wants to talk to me, but I don't care what you have to say. Let me just pick up this 100 rupees. Yeah, when you kill the phantoms, you get 100 rupees. The reason why I knew that and I was like 100% sure it was 100 rupees is because last time we did it, I got 100 rupees because we killed the phantoms with the boulders. Um, this one, I killed only one with the boulders, sadly. I used my sword for the other one, but that's okay. It's a lot more fun to kill them with the sword, let's be honest. All right, so this room is hilarious. You skipped the whole thing. There's nothing else to it. You should run down here. Now, we, we went inside this area before, and we were like, what do we do? It's a dead end. I mean, if we hit the switch, a chest appears for a short period of time. What are we supposed to do? Well, look at that. You just go ahead and fling yourself upwards, and that's it. And you can easily just run to the safe zone and pick up this chest that gives you the final treasure map within the game, guys. There we go. Let's go ahead and open up our collection real quick. Yeah, so there's a total of 31 treasure maps and we have them all now granted we haven't salvaged the two treasures that are in the depths of the sea uh, because you know the two we just got from this temple but i think i think i can live without them i'm not gonna go back and collect them maybe you guys can in you know your own time but uh this is our last run through the game so oh shoot he's gonna hit me i gotta quickly i'm like scr scribbling on my screen to roll Oh my god, that was perfect. Alright. And there's like intense lag with all of the craziness that was going on there. It's pretty intense. Alright. Oh my god, stop it! Wow, I got hit! Really? It didn't register. I was, he like, Link kept throwing the thing at him instead of actually, like... Ugh, dude, that is dumb. Alright, well, at least I can kill this guy easily just like that. That guy's a 100% complete and utter joke. Um, and also, I just realized something. Let's just go ahead and not get caught here. We can hit this switch. That will allow us to head this way easier, so we don't have to take the long way. Um, but the first thing I want to do is go ahead and pick up this. And I believe a blue phantom will appear. This, these aren't the swift ones. I don't even think they moved. I, like, I believe these phantoms are not even going to move. They're just going to stand still, yeah, just like that. So I was able to slice them right in the guts. All right, guys, now, what I want to do is just take these to the rightful spots, place them on their pedestal, and they transform into some weird thing. And, yeah, basically, after this room, there's one more room to go, and we are completely done. As you can tell, every time you place one of the things, um, a rippling appears, and that is why you don't want to place them. I was planning not to play some, but I did, which was my bad, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have this guy continuously chase me. Oh my god, he ca he was catching up real fast. Holy crap, that was creepy. All right, let's have him chase me. There we go. Playing a dangerous game, my friends. All right, now we are set. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna carry this uh, all the way to the safe zone in the middle of the room, and then I'm not gonna place it on a pedestal because you don't want another Reapling to appear. Actually, I'm gonna do it because I'm in the other one's right in front of me, so why not? I'll just show you that another Reapling appeared as you place another one. So, like, the best idea is not to do that. See, as you can tell, another one just appeared if you look on the map. Bring yourselves a big gold ruby! I believe we only got one other, one, like, we only got two of those within the game. This one and one before, so that's pretty cool. I love the fanfare jingle it gives you when you actually collect them. It's pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and make our way down at this room that we were locked in. We couldn't really do anything after it because there was a door sealed shut, and that's right there. And as you enter this room, phantoms appear, of course. Three, to be precise, and... 
Look how small this room is. Yeah, they will see you as soon as you head down to this floor. So, what do you do, you may wonder? Well, you're going to see. We're gonna have to kill all these phantoms. I'll tell you that. Let's go and grab some hearts, though. I would like to be uh, full health, uh, I guess. That would be pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. We're obviously missing a heart. That's just great. But you want to take this red uh, thing with you, throw it down, and jump right on it. I didn't jump on it, but that's okay. I will jump on it in just a second. These phantoms will not catch me. Uh, but as you can tell, yeah, you're trapped. So the only way not to get caught is to have one of those. That's why you need to take the red pot with you, or you're going to get hit, lose time, and have to redo this room. So yeah, it's it's, a, it's pretty important, I'll tell you that. Now, once you kill the phantoms, run back to wherever you put the safe zone in, because new ones will spawn, yes. You're gonna go through a whole trial of taking on a bunch of uh, phantoms, and, and, and pairs of three. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Uh, these swift phantoms are actually the easiest if I do say so myself. I love the way they walk. Alright. Bam! Notice me. Oh, uh, you notice me? Well, you're dead too. Alright. Last one. Hello, I'm right here. Oh, he didn't even notice me. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, now the final one is the, the ones that teleport. The, the ones that look the creepiest, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Yeah, they look weird. Ah. Uh, so these ones, I don't know if they're gonna tell. I doubt they'll teleport to the one that, you know, finds you. Because usually it teleports to the first phantom that found you. So let's go and try it. I'm right here. Okay, yeah, they, they'll walk. All right, let's wait for him to turn around. Bam! Bam! The final phantom, hey -ya! We have killed them all. And with that, the door opens to the next area, guys. We are so close to the end of all of this nonsense, guys. All right, let's go ahead and pick up whatever heart we can pick up. And now, it's time. I'm gonna grab the grappling hook for safe measures to enter this area. So guys, there's a long pathway ahead of us. We have over 17 minutes to spare. We took on the whole Temple of the Oge King with these, but there's more inside this deep temple. So yeah, this place, will, uh, who knew a place like this was here? Uh, deep inside the temple. The end is really close, so what are you standing around for? Come on, Link, let's get Bellum. Or, come on, let's get Bellum, Bellum, Link, whatever. I screwed up Ciela's dialogue, but I don't care because I'm so excited for the next episode. So, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and walk down this pathway and, I guess, fight Bellum for the crown. So, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.